We're about to show you something that's going to make it so much easier for you to make money from selling your merch. It's going to make it easier for you to come up with content and eliminate your need for a lot of people on your team. And by the way, this software is something that we're not making money from at all. We're not paid to do this message, but it's literally something that can change the game. And we're going to walk through specific demos and situations that you can use right now for yourself for a completely free Check this video out in whole so you don't miss a different way to use it. We have to get to something that's going to change the game out here. Uh oh, like, like for real, for real, to the point that it's scary out uh -oh. here. Uh oh, um, <laughs> some of y'all, y'all been looking for a team member. Well, you know, you, you got a free person that you can add to your team. I'll say that. Now, I don't know. <laughs> if you actually want this person on your team, I was like free because it ain't a person on your team. It's it's actually this Chat GPT software. That shit is crazy. It is ridiculous. Shit if y'all have not heard about it, this is AI software, and you can write messages throughout this this app. What's the best way to say this? This app can create messages for you. Yeah, that's the best way. It can to do say a lot, it. bro. It can make. It I've already been using it for a little bit of evil, social life evil. You know no. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's, let, we're going to just show you what this thing can do. Then we're going to talk about what it does in new applications. Because imagine this. Imagine that you never have to write a song yourself again. But you could just perform it. Mm. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's anything wrong with that. I mean, me either. You, you got all these artists <laughs> out here that people say, oh... You know, they didn't write the song. They just performed, but it's the one who performed it that's the lit big name. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you can hire your own songwriter that you never have to pay <laughs> and get the credit. It's going to be at least 40% of the comments that it, don't agree with us, but but I'm with I, you, bro. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Bro. Right? <laughs> hey, bro, you got to throw it out there. No, but let's, let's, let's legitimately look at this. All right. So if you're looking at our screen now, you can see me typing this message, write a rap about money and let's see what it returns. It's about to load for a second. Got to let it think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's thinking. Right? This is really sitting here thinking about this. That's thinking deep. Oh, there we go. All right. Money, money, money always on my mind. Can't get enough. Always trying to grind. Got to stack my cash. Got to make it climb. Got to got my hustle on all the time. I ain't never satisfied. <laughs> always want more. Got to get keep my eye on the prize. Got to stay on the flow. I ain't never going to stop till I reach the top. Got to keep on climbing. Never going to flop. Uh. That's like a cash up ad. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> hey, man. You think about these um, <laughs> these placements and they always have to, and they have to hire artists. Yeah. And, you know, those songs don't have to be as good. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that's true. So they that's might true. just start using this shit and then hire somebody to perform it. That's even easier because this stuff is good enough for the, um for them. Actually, they don't need the talent to come up with something. Money makes the world go round. Got to keep it coming. Can't let it down. I'll do whatever it takes. Make it mine. Got to keep on hustling to the end of time. It's like some early 90s yes. or maybe late 80s KRS-One type shit. I ain't never going to stop till I reach the top. Got to keep on grinding, grinding till I hit the jackpot. Money, money, money always on my mind. Got to keep on hustling to the end of time. All right. Now... We're going to add, make it funny. So we're talking to it right now. It's going to take this message and it's thinking, like, all right, how can I switch this up? Make it funny. And make it funny. <laughs> Let, let's see what that means. Money, 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 always on my brain. I can't get enough, always driving me insane. Got to stack my cash, got to make it grow. But every time I try, I just end up broke. <laughs> I save it up, but it always slips away. I'm like a leaky faucet. Can't seem to make it stay. I try to budget, but it never works out. I'm like a squirrel. I just keep on chucking it out. What? I'm a money magnet, but I'm always attracting debt. I try to be frugal, but I can't help it yet. I'm like a hamster on a wheel, <laughs> spinning round and round. I'm always working, but I never seem to get ahead of the ground. But I ain't giving up. I, I'll keep on trying. 
I'll make it happen. I keep on striving. Money, money, money always on my mind. I get it right some. I'll get it right someday. Just give me time. Damn, man, that's an ad for for uh, shit. Getting your money, your financial literacy together. Hey, right. <laughs> that that is yet another ad, man. That that is a legitimate ad, at least that uses some music. We can um. If you think about like those uh like four one one pain yeah, exactly. <laughs> ads on the radio because they be getting lit man them them, them songs sometimes <laughs> they catch me off guard I'm like oh shoot I thought it was a real song these people can start using those yeah, that's how I was like is it funny because it's funny or because like it's roasting me you know what I'm saying like it's attacking well I guess not whoever is writing it for is like you know it's setting, it's setting you up for failure at least in that instance right right yeah, right that instance, yeah but like when we so this is interesting because I know many of y'all artists are like, yeah, okay, these songs, these lyrics are whack, right? Yeah. But we already just listed a host of scenarios that legitimately people will be fine with that. Yeah. They might make a couple tweaks here and there, but they're like, oh, this is a great bass. I can never write a rap now. I never have to hire an artist. And those type of deals are like good cash for, for artists. Yeah. All right. I know uh, a rapper who she had a deal with a local car lot. She did like two or three commercials, helped create them a viral song. Um, who else? I mean, we know the the sync placements, like uh, Cash Mace did 100K with Spanx, Spanx or yeah. whatever. Um, Pusha T McDonald's. Pusha T McDonald's. All that type of stuff. Yeah. They could come up with ba 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 I'm loving it. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's short. They might be long-winded, right? So, <laughs> All that type of money is the most immediate threat. Yeah. But these things might continue to get better and better. If you go back to, I forgot the artist's name, but like that AI artist. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the, I remember the, the, yeah. the rapper or whatever. Yeah. So they're checking a, a fake character, like a video game type character, because people are invested in video games and people fall in love with their characters and all that kind of stuff. So you take that type of character and image, and then you create lyrics through AI, you literally eliminated a human. And now yeah. I don't have to worry about this artist wanting their cut. I don't have to worry about any complaining and opinions. And I could create so many of these quickly without even touching anything. Yeah. Right? So whatever extra money you think you would have been able to make, oh, well, that artist is only making, you know, that fake artist is only making $2 million, but if he really had a real hit, I might make you 20 million well it's like i don't know all the expenses and uh, paying you i could just pay like create like five more artists and everything equals out somehow all right i i don't know like that i don't know you can't you can never truly replace human creativity i don't think but you can you can scrape the bottom of that barrel you can knock it down a little bit you you can knock it down (laughs) all right those first levels are we getting real close. That's, this shit's kind of crazy. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the the general sentiment I keep seeing from a lot of the artist community is like exactly what you said. Will we be replaced? I don't think they will be completely replaced. I think they'll just be artists moving into almost like managerial positions, right? Or almost like a copywriter, like a copywriter, you know, editor. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not the one maybe writing the baseline for everything, but I come down, I come behind it and touch it up and add human elements to mm. it, right? I go and add in some words that make it sound more culturally relevant or like not dated, like, you know, like the one we just saw. Mm-hmm. But like you said, that is still possibly like, one person, you know what I'm saying? They could still be managing like a lot of that stuff. You know yep. what I'm saying? So it still it still yep. doesn't require like a lot of artists to do it. That's 
that's why I think it will go if the industry starts taking AI songwriting pretty seriously. Because somebody has to, man. It's, just, it's like technology, bro. Like, you already know. Yeah, we can make the machine to do the work, but somebody now somebody has to manage the machine. You know what I'm saying? Know how to fix the machine exactly. and, 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 and push it into it. So that's why I think this is going to go. Before I even go in too much deeper into that, there's a couple more scenarios we want to share with y'all just to really show y'all how crazy this is. We know yeah. y'all don't like the 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 creating your song lyrics, but we got some stuff that y'all going to want this for. Yeah. And y'all <laughs> are going to be cool with it. And copywriters, people who write for people, they're going to feel like how y'all feel. So everybody getting hurt in here. <laughs> don't think it's all about you. People aren't attacking the artists. People are... Shoot, they attacking humans. <laughs> here, so I'm about to type in this sentence right here. Email to music fans. No, like email my music fans a heartfelt thank you letter for attending my show. Let's see what comes out. All right, so here's the letter. Now, of course, you can tweak this, but it just says, Dear music fans, I just wanted to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you who attended my recent show. Your support and enthusiasm mean the world to me. I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to perform for you. Thank you for taking the time to come out and see me perform. Your presence in the audience was a huge part of what made the show such a special experience for me. Your energy and support really helped to lift me up and make me feel like I was doing what I love. I can't thank you enough for your support and for being part of my musical journey. I am truly grateful to have such wonderful fans like you. That was pretty beautiful. That was good, bro. Yeah. If I got that, I believe it. I think you wrote that. Exactly. <laughs> you would think a human wrote that. And you know what I mean? This is a, just a great baseline for anybody who has writer bl writer's block, right? Yeah, You're like, yeah. ah, I don't know exactly what to say. Well, you, you ask this and then you start from here. I like doing that. I love starting with something already there. Yeah. I can flow a lot quick, quick, uh, quicker. That blank page, boy, that should be getting me sometimes, man. That's great. When you do puzzles, do you look at the box? Do I look at the box? Yeah, like the picture on the box, you just go in. I just go straight for it. I just went in. It's, it's, a crazy ass, it's a crazy ass question. Because the ties of this, bro, it's ties of the same thing. The template thing, bro. Like <sighs> some people like to do the puzzle going in blind. Some people like to look at the picture on the box and know what they're working with. I have not done a puzzle <laughs> in so long. I really can't tell you. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times you know the box though. I don't follow the the picture on the box, I yeah. guess. Probably. I think I've looked, you know, I might be aware where the picture is and then I just try to go from there. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that, <laughs> whatever that means, man, I feel like my horoscope just got read or something, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well, yeah, but and then copywriting, in my opinion, is a very underrated skill set in music. Yeah. That I don't think a lot of artists even typically feel like they need to have. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times have we taught artists that just get stressed out writing their own emails? Yeah. Or, I mean, even the, the next couple of examples I know you're about to get into, but yeah, man, it's like this, that copy is beautiful, bro. Like, that is, it's not like 10 out of 10 copy, but it's at least six, seven, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an artist that's already at a one or a two, then this is a great start. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll show some other stuff that we can do with it right here. I'm just going to say, hmm, I'll just say make it shorter, right? Could say make it longer, but even these type of adjustments can be made. The fact that it's this far along is interesting. Yeah. I'll say that. It's literally like talking to an employee, like, hey, bro, cut it down. <laughs> exactly. You're right. All right. So, what's the new version? Ooh, way shorter. All right. So, we went from one to basically three paragraphs to one paragraph, and it's Dear music fans, thank you so much for attending my recent show. Your support means the world to me, and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to perform for such a wonderful audience. Thank you for being a part of my musical journey. Bam. Damn. Succinct. Yeah, right? And the thing, like I said, I could have said, make it longer. We ain't about to do that example, but we are <laughs> about to show you some other interesting stuff. All right? So what about your captions on Instagram for some of these posts? Create an Instagram caption promoting my new song about love. All right, had to describe what the song's about. Let's see. It's thinking. It's thinking. If you can see the screen, you'll see that it says new music alert with an emoji. 
just released a new song about love and it's already becoming a fan fa- favorite. Hearts. Give it a listen and let me know what you think. They got the headphone emoji. Hashtag new music. Hashtag love. Hashtag singer songwriter. I should put the hashtags in there. That's crazy. That is. That is. <laughs> I want to do that same caption. I feel like there's maybe it might be because of the overload. You're supposed to be able to just say, give me another suggestion too. Oh, yeah, the little, yeah, they. Like, keep remixing it. We're going to type that exact same thing in one more time. Let's see what it says this time. New song alert. Just dropped my latest track about all the ups and downs of love. Give it a listen. Let me know what you think. New music, love, songwriter. All right, there we go. Regenerate response. Let's see what it says now. <laughs> it just switched the emoji out. It the, just, the- <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it did. Switch the emoji out and then the second sentence. But it keeps coming with new music or new song alert, which is the reality. A lot of times that's all we do, yeah. right? You just be you just make a small adjustment because you know it works. I want Last time I'll do this, I'm going to take out the new part so it can stop saying new music. My song about... I'm going to keep it love just because we want to compare it to the other ones. Feeling the Love just released a new song about all the ups and downs of relationships. Give it a listen and let me know what you think. All right. Now, if you can read this whole thing and see the emojis, yeah, it actually switched the format. So all you got to do is play with the wording of what you tell it and then it's going to come from a different angle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this is when we really get into it. And I think for the artist, it's going to be extremely helpful. And it's going to hurt for some of these copywriters. So provide a promo email to fans to buy my merch and create a call to action. Hi, everyone. I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to reach out and let you know about some exciting news. I've just launched a new line of merch. This includes T-shirts, hoodies, and other items featuring designs inspired by my music. If you're a fan of any of my music, I would really appreciate your support purchasing some merch. Not only will you be able to show off your love for my music, but your purchase will also help me continue making my new music for you, for my, making new music for you to enjoy. Plus, as a special thank you, I'm offering a 15% discount on all merch purchases made in the next 48 hours. Good Lord, they put the scarcity in there. I didn't even get a chance to ask. <laughs> Simply use promo code MERCHLOVE at checkout to redeem your discount. Don't miss out on this chance to get some awesome merch and support your favorite artists at the same time. Visit my merch store now and start shopping. Thank you for your continued support, and I can't wait to see you rocking your new merch. Man. Man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. This is crazy. This is this is crazy all from just some AI. You type it in and they and they feed this out to you. And there's other iterations. We're not gonna go too much deeper. Um, just for for time's sake. I think y'all get the point. This is something that everybody should play around with though, just to just to see and get a sense of where things are going and can go. Um the website is chat openai.com maybe we'll put a link somewhere in the description for people um who don't know about this or haven't heard the news already but i even played around things like write a 20 second funny skit right things that you could use for tiktok and i gave it different subjects to do the skit about so it's out there like you need some ideas for your tiktoks trying to save a couple bands from a copywriter or a little content ideator hey it's the one it's there (laughs) 